Hello everyone. I'm sure the intro segment gave you a glimpse of what the Weight Shaper add-in can do. In this video, I'll guide you step by step through its usage. Let's start by understanding what Weight Shaper really is. This add-in revolutionizes the way you correct deformations in specific poses. Traditionally, you might rely on manually creating weight paint to fix pose deformations. However, with Weight Shaper, you simply adjust the vertices to your liking. The add-in then intelligently generates the necessary weight paint to support those changes, saving you time and effort. Okay, let's quickly dive into the options available in the UI panel. At the forefront, you'll find two essential buttons, Begin Mesh Adjustments and Complete Mesh Adjustments. As their names suggest, these buttons initiate and conclude the mesh adjustment process in your chosen pose. Pressing Begin Mesh Adjustments switches the view to Edit Mode and creates a shape key for all your adjustments. Conversely, Complete Mesh Adjustments removes this shape key and transitions you back to Weight Paint Mode. These functions streamline the editing process, making it intuitive and efficient. Now, let's briefly touch upon the algorithm settings. These settings are covered in detail in the documentation, but I'll give you a quick overview here. Learning Rate. This crucial setting determines how fast the algorithm adjusts the weights of the vertices. A lower rate means more precise but slower adjustments. A higher rate speeds up the process but might be less accurate. Convergence Threshold. This parameter sets the minimum change needed between iterations. A smaller threshold leads to more iterations, resulting in finer adjustments but taking more time. Iterations. This is about how many times the algorithm runs to adjust your mesh weights. More iterations mean finer tuning but longer processing time. For complex models, you might want to use fewer iterations and run the algorithm in stages to keep things efficient. Remember, these settings let you fine-tune the add-in to your specific needs, balancing precision and performance. For in-depth understanding, do check out the detailed documentation. Lastly, Let's discuss the Influencing Bones list. This feature allows you to specify which bones the algorithm should consider when distributing the weight. To add a bone to this list, simply select it and click the plus icon. If you need to remove a bone, select it from the list and press the minus icon. The bones you select here will be utilized by the algorithm to optimally distribute the weights, ensuring they align with the adjustments you've made to your mesh. While I narrate in the background, I'll be showing you a video where I create weight paint for the hips joint, often considered one of the most challenging parts to tackle. This entire process is done using the Weight Shaper add-in, with absolutely no manual weight painting. As we go through this demonstration, I'd like to highlight a few key points that I believe are crucial to understand. As you adjust your mesh, it's essential to keep in mind how each vertex can realistically move based on the bones influencing it. Remember, vertices should be moved in directions that are achievable under the influence of their associated bones. If you move a vertex in a way that's not physically possible given its bone constraints, the script may not be able to accurately follow that position. It's all about working within the realm of what's feasible for the bones and the mesh. This understanding is key to achieving the best results with the Weight Shaper add-in. An important feature to note about the Weight Shaper add-in is how it handles weight distribution. When you run the optimization, the weights are divided among the bones you have selected in your list. This process ensures that the total weight assigned to each vertex is normalized. This normalization is crucial for maintaining the integrity and balance of your mesh's deformation. So, when you choose the bones in the list, remember that these are the bones that will influence the weight distribution during the optimization process. Before I sign off, I'd like to share something with you. Deformations that used to take me hours are now a matter of minutes with the Weight Shaper add-in. It excels in refining poses, giving you the freedom to move vertices precisely in any pose. I hope this add-in enhances your weight painting experience, making it more efficient and enjoyable. For any questions or suggestions, or if you have ideas for future updates, please leave a comment. Enjoy the rest of the demonstration, and thank you for watching.